Alright, so this is how you read the coordinate for M. Okay, so you are given the three coordinate, uh, three axes. Okay, so you have A axis. Alright, so this is A axis. Right, you have C axis. Okay, and then you have B axis. Okay, so how to look at the A axis? So you look at the A axis. So the top of the triangle at A is uh, 100%. Okay, 100% of uh, com compound A at this particular position. Okay, so therefore at this position, you have 0C and 0B. Okay, so how do you get this 100% or 0 point up? Uh, or 1.0 okay so you read from the base of the triangle so this is the base of point a okay this is your point a this is the base so you have zero here 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 40 60 until you get 90 and 100 percent and then for c okay the base is here Okay, so how to reach this 100%? So you're going to begin at this point. So the base is 0%. The second line represents 10%, followed by 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 90%, and 100%. Okay, and then for B, okay, the base is here. Okay. So the base is here, so this represents 0% of B. Okay, and when you go further up this way, so you have 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and 100%. Okay, so if you are given this point M, so to know the fraction or the percentage of your M, okay, so you have to look at the three particular uh, coordinates that you have, okay, so let's say you want to have the value of A, so the A is here, okay, so the base of A is here, so now your X A M is 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So, the value for X A M is 0 0.3. Okay. Next, you need to know the value for X B M. So, this is your B. So, the base is here. So, the value of B for the M point is 0, 10, 20, 30, it's 40. Okay, so you have XBM equal to 0 0.4. Okay, and then the last one is to know your XCM. C, the C is here, the base is here. So, you start from the base, 0, 10, 20, 30. So, for XCM, it is 0 0.3.